In this example, uh, we are going to determine the number of terms required uh, to approximate the series with an error that is strictly less than uh, 0 0.00001. Okay. So, just uh, so this is an alternating series. In fact, it can be shown that it converges. Okay. Remember that to show that the series converges, or an alternating series converges, meaning that the first uh, the first condition is that the limit of the nth term has to go to zero, and secondly, the nth plus one term must be less than or equal to the nth term. So, um, that can be easily verified for this. So in this example, we want to figure out how many terms we need to achieve this given error. Okay, so recall, okay, um, in one of the videos, I actually proved that the residual for the alternating series, okay, so the residual is the, the actual difference between the um, S, which is what the series is converging to, and the first n partial sums. Okay, this difference, which is the residual, is less than the nth plus one term okay all right so it's less than actually less than or equal to okay so we proved this actually in one of the videos okay so now we're going to use it we're going to apply it here okay all right so from here okay this is we can just use this part okay um, so the residual Okay, is less than or equal to the nth plus one term. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we we're going to use our we can use our error and then solve for this uh, inequality. Okay, and that will give us the number of terms. Okay, so our error. Okay, so we want to bound the nth plus one term, right? So so this we want to find n such that the nth plus one term is less than Point zero 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 one. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So this is what we want to actually solve for. Okay. All right. So we have to uh, go ahead and find right the nth plus one term. So the nth term, because this is an altering series, so the nth term is just going to be one over n times 4 to the n, okay? The reason it's just that, you don't include the minus 1 because it's alternating, so, we only interested, so we're only interested in the positive terms, okay? Meaning that if you take the absolute value of the nth term here, with the minus 1 to the n, you get exactly the, this 1 over n to the 4 to the n, okay? All right, so that's, right? So that is the nth term. So the nth plus 1 term, Okay, and we're going to write it like this. So the nth plus one term will be one over n plus one times four to the n plus one. Okay, all right, so now this is what we want to solve for. Okay, we want to find, okay, we want to find out what is the n, right, what n satisfies this inequality, okay? This should be strictly less than, okay? Okay, so that means we have 1 over, okay, n plus 1 times 4 to the n plus 1 less than point. So 0 0.001, okay? So this inequality is, um, algebraically, it's, uh, it's not possible to solve, okay? So what we have to do is we rely on some technology to do this, okay? So we can solve this on, your, on the calculator, okay? So let me bring that up, okay? So I'm just going to move this up, bring in the calculator here. Okay, TI, there you are. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. All right. 
some reason it's not turning on. Guess I have to use my mouse. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna put this expression. Okay. 1 over n plus 1 times 4 to the n plus 1. We're going to put that into the calculator as a, uh, just like we do with a regular function, okay? So we're going to have 1 divided by, okay, and you have to be careful here with the order operations. So I'm going to use x instead of n. It's fine. So x plus 1 times 4 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, and then close the parentheses. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, you don't want to graph this, what we can do is we're going to look at the table. So you go to second and then click on graph and that will bring up the table of values. Okay, so there you see the first the first column here. So that is x is acting as the n value. So the n is, remember n is a um, n is a whole numbers, right? whole numbers here, and then y is the output. Okay, so we want something. We want to find the n value that satisfies this inequality. Okay, so okay, so we scroll down. Okay, until you find until you get to a value that's less than 0 0.0001. So these are e to the negative four. So that's not going to work. That's still not less than 0 0.0001. So next one will be. So we get here, we get we get something on the order of negative five. So that corresponds to five. Okay, so the solution, okay, the solution to this is n equals to five. So okay. Okay. So anything higher, okay, so anything at so when n is five or higher this inequality is going to be true okay so we need at least five terms to achieve this uh, to achieve this tolerance okay all right so what this says okay so, so this is the solution okay that we're looking for okay so what this really says is that right the the first five partial sums, right? If we take that and subtract, right? If we take the difference between the actual, if we take this with the difference between the first five partial sums and the actual, um, the actual value that the that the series is converging to, then the difference will be right less than the uh, the the error. Okay. So that's what really what this is telling us. So basically. Again, it's just the number of terms that we need to achieve this, to achieve the tolerance, this error. Okay. So again, the the more, uh, sorry, the the smaller the error, the more terms we need, and this is going to become uh, important later because we're going to integrate a function using the series with a certain degree of tolerance. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to use the same idea. Okay, and then using the you know using the residual term okay using this residual term with the alternating series okay we can determine how many terms is necessary to achieve an error okay because we want to come up with a finite series to uh, approximate our integral okay so we're going to we're going to see this again we're going to we're going to I'm going to do an example with the integral later and we're going to have to do this okay All right